Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Bloodborne. We are about to fight the most difficult boss in the entire game. Also known as the second boss in the entire game. Mother Gas Can. This is going to be an incendiary fight. I'm trying to think of fire puns. That's all I got. My pun generator is all burnt out. This will be a very explosive fight. It's all over the shop. I'll stop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. <laughs> Oh, the gas coin, and I have the music box this time. Hey, well, that didn't really work. Oh, this is such a hard fight. I don't like fighting you at all. Let's do this before I do anything else. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Up and over and down, follow follow the mess. And what do we have here? Red jeweled brooch. We're supposed to be looking for one of those, or more importantly, we're supposed to be looking for the person who should be wearing that. We'll deal with that after the fight, <laughs> one way or the other. Gosh darn it. Nope, not doing so hot here. Oh, you have a gun too. That's no fair. I don't know how to time parries against him. As you may be seeing, also I'm trapped. Okay, well, this is clearly not working. Gosh darn it. All of the humanoid bosses in this game are really, really difficult. Humanoid enemies in general, not even bosses. Gosh darn it, I don't know the timing for interrupting you. There we go, there we go. Got one. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> this is when the fight starts getting kind of hard. I would love to get another visceral attack on you. Oh, this is when the fight gets hard. I mentioned that. Get him! Hang it! Oh, and he has a gun too! When did he get that? I hate this fight. Swing and a miss with the oil urn. That's disappointing. I was hoping that would be like my trump card. That didn't happen. Oh my gosh, well you stopped with your dumb gun. It still did 152 damage. Oh yes, this is when things get really difficult. Oh my gosh, I can't even do anything. Gosh darn it. Okay, this is when we use the music box, though. Ah! 
Okay, there's one. We'll get three uses of the music box to interrupt him. Or not, maybe. Leave me alone, leave me alone, let me heal. Music box. Nope. Apparently we only get one use of the music box. And then death. Oh my gosh. We had him. We had him. We had him. I was so close. I was so close. That's okay. That's a really tough fight. Did, so it must have... Hmm. I don't know exactly how the music box works. I had never used it in my first playthrough of the game. It's supposed to interrupt him. I thought you got three uses of it. Apparently that is not true. Or maybe when I tried to use it and then he interrupted me, that actually counted. Or maybe when he's in werewolf form, you only get one. I'm not a fan of only having 19 blood bullets, though. Quicksilver blood bullets. Not a fan of only having 18 bullets. Come on. Come on over here, big guy. Yeah, let's do this. You and me, let's dance. Alright, and then let's get this guy. Come on. So we'll do that. Do that. Do that. So I have 21 bullets now. The extra five, you at any point in time you can like injure yourself to generate five additional bullets. So I did that. Because I was banking on that enemy dropping blood vials so I could keep 20. But... Those five extra bullets don't count towards your 20. So we can go into this fight. Or we can move on from here. Whatever that means. With 25. I feel like you should be able to drop down there. Oh, this game. Game and its lack of shortcuts where I want it to have shortcuts. I don't even know if that'd be a shortcut. Maybe that would be a secret area. That would be kind of cool. You can also take a look at that brooch you picked up. Doo -doo. Bright red brooch. Used to gain a droplet blood gem. Droplet gems are cool because they can fit into any slot. We'll deal with blood gems and slots and all of those things much, much, much later in the game. So, a woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola, which is also in our music box, along with the name Gascoigne, which is who we were just fighting. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter named Gascoigne. Used to change, blah, 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 doesn't matter. The important bit is the little girl who gave us the music box. Her dad has gone crazy and uh, killed the mother. So... That's a lovely, cheerful, family-oriented story for you. Oh, uh, now we got to deal with Father Gascoigne. Just so you're warned, this may very well be an episode dedicated to nothing but Father Gascoigne fights. He's kind of a jerk. blood vials back. Those ogres are pretty reliable sources of blood vials, which is very nice. Um, I can just sneak past these two enemies, I believe. I'm not gonna. Oh. This is bad! I should have just run past them. Oh, I'm gonna die here! Not even gonna get to the boss fight. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just I couldn't dodge out of that for whatever reason. Lovely, very lovely, excellent. This is just going swimmingly. You know what? I have an idea. I have a thought. In my first playthrough, I explicitly went out of my way to not summon anybody for assistance. Because it was my first time, and I generally like, you know, at least on my first playthrough, trying not to summon folks. You know, ever, at all. But, uh, I've already played the game once. I really don't have the same compulsions about going it alone again. So, I'm, I might just summon someone. If I put the bell... Let's put the bell up here. Um, let's get the blank first, and then I'll put the bell there. Like, I'm totally 100% cool with summoning somebody for the Gascoigne fight, because that fight is brutal! And I'm just not going to deal with the ogres right now. I'm done with them. I am no longer interested in fighting them. Although I still, I wouldn't mind building up a huge horde of blood vials, because that would be very useful, you know, for the rest of the game. The more I stock up on now, the less I have to come back here and stock up on blood vials later. Are we not? There it is. Let's wait for that to happen. And I don't know how it missed this guy. You are a very lucky little axe man. That was not what I wanted it to be. Okay, okay, you got somebody wielding the Kirk hammer there, or their ghost wielding a Kirk hammer at least. Um. Yeah, let's get a little ringling going on here. So it costs an insight, but it should hopefully, ideally, summon somebody to assist us. There we go. Got at least some of my blood echoes back. Forget if there's an NPC around here that we can summon. I don't think there is. I'm gonna check, because if there was an NPC, it would be like in the form of one of these notes, I think. Yeah. Well, we'll hang out for a moment and see if somebody is going to join me. That would be kind of nice. It may also become a good idea for me to just, like, um, do a little bit of off-camera grinding, get some souls, and go buy, like, a bunch of Molotovs. Maybe a few more oil urns. I think we have those available to us. Could also just flat out level up. What am I, level 17? There's no way to see how many blood echoes I need to level up again, is there? That's a really nice thing from Dark Souls 3. Alright, well, I don't know if we're getting anybody.
we'll give it another moment, I suppose. If I mentioned I don't like this fight. Anybody? Anything at all? So I don't know if using the silencing blank will give me back my insight. Does the silencing blank send people away if they're here? Oops, you're not the blank. There it is. Fire to end cooperation. So if I were assisting somebody, I could probably fire the silencing blank to return. And I could probably use this to, like, expel friendly people. That's a thing that I feel like doing. All right, well... Yeah, Disrupt Resonance. There it is. Hmm. Cool, I got my insight back at least. Yeah, I could not discover somebody. Alright, well... Let's play it again, shall we? Oh my gosh, where did you get a gun? I hate that you have a gun. I hate all the human enemies in this game. They're so much worse than everything else. Because they got freaking guns. Get him. There we go. That's one visceral attack. That's something, at least. There we go, there's another one. He teed up a couple of easy attacks for me, though. Okay, I am cool with the amount of damage we just did there. Not cool with this phase, though. This is when things actually get kind of difficult. There he is. Okay, that was the music box doing its thing. I think that's a one-time use when he's in beast form here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything else for me. Okay, good to know. Just combo the hell out of him with the open and close of the razor. That's, like, really effective against beasts. Although he is really effective against me when he's doing this. Gosh, darn it, this is so much freaking damage! Get him! There it is! Ah. Okay. That was nowhere near as bad as my original playthrough of the game. And we're mostly back to the number of echoes that I had when I first came in here, so I'm cool with that. And we can open this up. And I think there's a new lantern down below, and we can take the, uh, the brooch back to the little girl. After I go through a very epic gate open opening sequence there. Yeah. Boop. Boop. So we'll light this up. I probably want to go back and level up as well. Maybe, probably, kinda, a little bit. We're gonna go up ahead though, because there is another bonfire just like immediately up ahead of us. Bonfire, lantern, it, you know what I mean, right? I hope you know what I mean. I'm gonna be mixing those up all the damn time. Dark Souls 3 has ruined me for Bloodborne. The Bergenworth Spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. That's very ominous sounding, I guess. Ooh, treasure. 
Luckily, this game does not have mimics. Oh man, but if there are actually mimics in the DLC, <laughs> I'm going to be in so much trouble. What is this? I don't know if I remember this being a cutscene. I don't remember that seemingly pointless cutscene at all. Hello, creepy church person. You're very creepy and I don't trust you, but I trust you more than the alternative. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. If they seem worth being told, and I do sincerely hope they are. Yeah, he seems really, really creepy, but he's actually a pretty cool dude. Okay. This is, uh, very cathartic after that boss fight. I'm not gonna do the entire chapel, but you know, I just... Oh. Ooh, okay, I feel so much better now. Right. Now that that's over with, uh, blah, 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 we're just gonna run right on back. I think it's quickest to get back to the little girl if we go this way. We might want to swing by the old lady who was asking for a place to stay as well. We got options. We got things we can do. We will be coming back here soon as well. Though I forget exactly what triggers the thing that needs to happen. Um. Let's see. I think this will actually be the quickest way to get over to where I need to go, and it'll give us an up to. A uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Tripping over my words. It'll give me an opportunity to take care of another thing as well, very quickly. Um, also, I did up the lighting, or the brightness, a little bit. Just because I had forgotten how stupidly dark this game is. So hopefully it's a little more visible than the last video was. Uh, we're gonna just... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll do this. We'll chop the pig right in the butt. This is the sewer pig. He is big and scary and worth 400 souls, which is pretty decent. Four blood vials, that's great. A level two cold blood dew, that's also great. A saw hunter badge, that's also great. Everything is great, there's so many great things. Birds are gonna jump down on me from behind. I'm, I don't know. Is it worth it to kill these guys? How many souls are they worth? By souls, I mean blood. How many bloods? Where's that damn bird? You're gonna die first, because you are a jerk. Heck. 
killed one of you. Oh, I didn't kill you. Wait. 56. So they're not worth a tremendous amount. Probably not worth killing him. I'm going to finish this guy off. Just, you know, leave no survivors and all that. But you, you can tell the others what I have done here. Spread the word that I am not to be crossed. We're going to go this way. This will get me exactly where I want to go. Oh, I gotta stretch my legs. I'm not gonna fight all the birds. They're not worth it. This guy, on the other hand, blood vials. He's like a vending machine for blood vials. Boop. There we go. And then right on up here. Oops. Ran right past it. Derp. There we go. Hello, Miss Hunter. Still can't find my mom. Uh. I have bad news for you. I did find your mom. She's dead. Was it really her? Mommy? Mommy? Dear Lord. If it makes you feel any better, I think she was murdered by your dad when he turned into a beast. It was kind of awful. There was a lot of blood. Okay, well, that's all she's got to say for now. We will be coming back for her. I think this way will get me back to a lantern pretty quickly. I gotta deal with all these yahoos. Okay, well, that actually works quite nicely. Just gotta deal with the dog now, though. Ooh, free Molotov! Oh, that's so exciting. Get some more bullets. Feeling pretty decent about all this stuff. Oh, that's right, this takes me back here. For this one. That's fine. Um... Well, I guess we're taking the long way around. Uh, it was not what I wanted it to do. Man, that open and close cleaver combo, or saw combo, is pretty fantastic. Oh, I'm out of stamina. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's so satisfying, taking you guys down like that. More blood vials, that's excellent. And even more blood vials, that's even more excellent. Um, I think... Yeah, rather than going and fighting the crows and yogurt and stuff, I'm gonna do this. Back into the house. Do, do, do. Let's deal with you. Anything? No presents. Oh, that's so sad. And we already took out the two down below here. We already took out this guy. But, ta-da! Back here. You have anything to say? The aqueduct. Okay. Cool. So let's head back to the Hunter's Dream, level up, and then end the video. This is exciting. The doll's missing. Oh, we got a new badge, too. Let's check that out real quick. Do, 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 do. Badge. Saw Hunter badge. Badge crafted long ago at the workshop. Attests to one's 
prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone, and no group recognizes this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath who understands its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of this badge, or so they believe. So that'll enable a bunch of new things. Hooray! Um, antidotes maybe are new? Throwing knives maybe? I don't know. Um, but all sorts of new stuff here. So we can now buy the saw cleaver, the saw spear, which I am using. Um, spear has a very slightly lower base physical attack, but it has uh, additional, like it has better skill scaling on it than the cleaver. So, you know, it's more of a hybrid weapon. Saw Cleaver is more... Uh, the Cleaver, the Hunter Axe, and the Threaded Cane are the three starting weapons you can pick one of at the beginning of the game. Um, the Hunter Axe is what Father Gascoigne was using. He was a jerk. Um, it's a pretty strength-focused weapon. The Saw Cleaver is a pretty strength-focused weapon. The Kirk Hammer is a pretty strength-focused weapon. Are you sensing a pattern here? And the Threaded Cane is the only skill-based weapon. This game is rather... Oh, wait. i got to check... Um, armor. Oh, we got Hunter Pistol, the Blunderbuss. These are the two starting things. I already have a pistol. And then the Repeating Pistol, which I think just does like a double shot. But I will never use it because it's dumb. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use the Kirk Hammer. I like the Cleaver, honestly. <laughs> cleaver and or Saw. They're both pretty good. Here we go. Hello, doll. What you doing? Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? So this is kind of a significant gravestone. Very well. One way or another. All right. Get that to a hundred stamina. Um, and then I guess one more point into strength. Yeah, that's fine. Farewell, good. May you find. Um, we have a new tool. Let's check that out real quick as well. The Blood Gem Workshop Tool. A misplaced workshop tool from the Hunter's Dream. The Hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them, as blood defines an organism. Still can't do this, but over here, we can now do blood gem fortification. Um, so you'll see there are the three shapes up on the right, two like exploding star shapes and then like a crescent moon shape, and the two on the right are dimmed out. So as we upgrade our weapon, as we fortify it with bloodstones, um, we will open, so you can see on the threaded cane, it has none, and the, and the one on the left is blinking, because if I level it up once, it will make that gem slot available. Um, on top of, you know, boosting the attack and the scaling and all that stuff. Uh, so if we boost it enough, like if I put another point into, or if I sink another, what, five bloodstone shards into the saw spear? Which, it's my main weapon right now, so we may as well, right? Um, now, if I, would just, if I were to spend another eight bloodstone shards leveling it up, we would gain access to the second slot. Those slots, I don't have any blood gems, so it doesn't really matter. But um, if we had like a star-shaped blood gem, we could put it in the star slot. If we had a crescent-shaped blood gem, then after I unlock the crescent slot, I'd be able to put a blood gem in there. And there, the gems are everything from like adding poison or changing the scaling or elements of a weapon to letting you recover health over time very, very slowly to giving you extra like um, blood blood vial or um, bullet capacity. Like, there's all sorts of crap in here that you can put on these. We have none of those, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, hello, old man. What's going on? I killed a hunter. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods. 
where hunters partake in communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the holy... Okay. I will seek one of those out, probably. And I think I'm going to actually do some of those on camera. I don't remember if I did many of them on camera in my first playthrough. Ooh, bullets. Ooh, Molotovs. I will... Mm. I'll do Hunter's Marks. Those are more useful to me right now. And then, yeah, we'll we'll buy a single Molotov. Hooray! Spent all my cash. Um, yeah, I'll be doing those, just not yet. I have plans. I got plans. I have an actual plan for all this stuff. So, um, next time, I think we're going to go back to the Cathedral Ward. And continue on from there. Uh, I do. We do need to go back and check in on the little girl. I forget how long we have to wait before we do that, but that's a thing. Um, we probably want to go tell the old lady to come hang out at the chapel before something bad happens to her. She was hiding in a, a house. There's a dog barking at her. It's over by where we found Eileen, the crow hunter lady. She's pretty cool, too. We'll be dealing with her again soon as well. So yeah, I've got all sorts of stuff. More to explore. Haven't even checked out the Cathedral Ward area. Uh, it's a really creepy place, but we don't know how creepy it is yet. That's going to take a while. I need, I need some more insight so I can see just how truly creepy the area is. Anyway, uh, that's all going to happen next time. I'm done for now. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to shake off my cape. Bam! May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.